All right, guys, so this week's video, I made it here to the launch. I was a little tired this morning. So it's about 7.30 in the morning, I'm gonna launch, and I'm gonna go explore Northern Green Bay in areas I have never fished before. So I'm gonna go fish, if you look up your structure, um, any sort of shoals, humps, maps, I'll show you in a little bit when I get in the boat, but I'm gonna get loaded up, launch the boat, here we go. Eat a little bagel, I don't know, maybe you're not allowed to feed the ducks, but I did give a little bit of bagel, those little guys. Want a little bit more? Here, guys. Here. Have a nice day. All right, guys, made it out to the first spot that I am going to check out here. Basically, um, just some humps here, some structure. I'm going to check out near deep water, all right? Any sort of hump, shoal, island that you can find here and there is tons of structure i don't know it all and that's the point of this week's video is i'm here learning new water trying to show you guys that you can come up here especially now in august august is when you get giant hog walleyes in august and september right now upper green bay middle green bay sturgeon bay jig and spoon bite is on fire it's kind of new it's trending i'm learning teaching you guys here we go i'm going to show you my setup right now i gotta get a couple rods rigged up before i roll up onto a couple of spots to check them out all right guys we are gonna get things rolling i just want to go over the starting lineup that when i start out here on this open water of course i will be starting with uh, one of our hot spoons i'm actually going to be starting with a prototype um some new paint and some different colors that we're going to be coming out with in the future so i'm just going to throw a few different colors today Start with the jig and spoon, then I'm also going to have my favorite um, casting a spinner. So I'll probably just do that one-two punch today looking for big walleyes. I'm out here, I'm not looking for small ones. I'm fishing pelagic fish that are roaming, suspended, and they move around probably with the water temp. Right now I see the surface temp is around 68 to 70 degrees, which is good. If you ever roll into an area out here and the water temps get really cold at times, if you're looking for walleyes, kind of want to vacate and go where the wind's blowing, wherever that warm water, fine warm water, even real shallow sometimes. So. But I'm going to move around. A lot, of, a lot of you guys don't understand, I don't think, how much time. I haven't even fished yet. I haven't. It's uh, almost 9 in the morning, and I'm just going to be driving around looking, looking, looking. And then I'll start casting once I find fish. So it could be 3 hours, 4 hours that I drive around before I even find fish. One other thing on a side note, guys. Leave a comment. See, these are some of our hoodies. If you want a hoodie, all you got to do is let me know. I'm going to pick one person in this week's video. Just leave me a comment in the video and what size hoodie you are and we're going to pick one person and we're going to have um, a man tony ship you one but the one two punch i'm going to start off with when i come out here on the great lakes i'm going to throw a spinner you've seen some of my videos just that carolina rig i use a tungsten weight there a bass weight so it drops faster and then i'm going to be throwing a jig and spoon that's a prototype color right there that we're in the process of uh with some of our hot uv tape on it that we sell so i'm just going to cruise around look for fish here we go. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, so here's the deal. First spot I rolled out onto around 10 o'clock this morning. I uh, found a bunch of fish. I mean, I, I don't even want to talk about how many fish. Schools of 20, 30 fish, and I know they're all giants. Couldn't, didn't have one bite. So I just also want to tell you, toughest conditions for fishing, flat calm, sunny days on Green Bay. What I'm really hoping for, one or two bites on tough, tough conditions through a shiver minnow tika minnow uh, jigging spoon jigging a crawler and a spinner um, and a slow death rig um, all through the fish I haven't had a bite yet so just goes to show you when they ain't chewing it's tough here we go let's keep moving and keep looking okay we're rolling up into spot number two another offshore hump here Got him, got him. Oh my God, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. 
Oh my God, it's a big one too. Okay guys, I finally hooked up. It's a freaking giant. It's a giant, it's so heavy. Even if I can get one or two big fish, that's why I came out here. It's a giant. It's so heavy. Oh my God, is this fish heavy. Definitely feels super heavy. Stay on. Stay on, big head shakes. Stay on. We are out here in Green Bay, guys. I have been working hard for an hour with no bites, but I've been finding big schools of them. Flat calm conditions. Been throwing everything. What do you think they find? I finally got one to eat the jig and spoon. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. What do we got on here? What do we got on, guys? We got a big walleye. We got a good one. Anytime I go over spots too where I mark schools of fish, I always mark them on my GPS because I noticed that these fish spook so easy out here, these giants. Like you only get one chance. You drift over them, then they're gone. Even if you cast in the school and they're not eating it, they're gone. Look at this fish. What do I got? What do I got? What the hell? What do I got? Oh, there's more fish in front of me here. Oh, there's another school of them. Look, right there. See those? Those are all 70 feet right in front of me. You got 10, oh, it's a giant. It's a giant walleye. It's a giant walleye. It's a pig. Oh my God, do they fight? Oh my God. And we got 10 pound leader, so. Here he comes. Come on, big boy, come on. I only want a couple. Give me a dirty 30. I haven't caught a dirty 30. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant. Oh, look at this thing. There he is, I got him. Come here. Yes. Oh yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. Heck yeah, if you're not gonna catch many, you might as well just catch all 10 pounders, right? Look at this thud. Man, that's a nice fish. Really nice fish. Oh, some eat, what did he eat, the gold? Yes, he did, he ate the gold jig and spoon. Hook's already popped out, that's a tank. Yes, look at that, I got dipping dye all over my hands. I spilled dye all over the boat a second ago, all over my hand thinking this is gonna be the worst day ever. But you finally get the reward, you move around and you know what guys, you cannot let fear, do not be afraid. You know, I was afraid to quit my job and become a full-time guide. It took me two years to do that. Two years before I said, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna do this. I've been doing it 20 years. I was afraid to do it. I've been afraid it's intimidating to come out on big water and learn it by yourself, 10, 15 miles out away from anybody. Don't be afraid. If you have the boat, you have the technology, you have the mapping, the weather's nice, get out here and reap the rewards of giant walleyes. All right, guys, I'm gonna bump this fish real quick. Just take a look at him, show you the fish real quick. Get a quick selfie, and then I'm gonna dump him back. Look at that, guys. First Green Bay walleye. What a stud. Is that awesome or what? 29 inches, guys. 29 incher. First fish to start the day. Not bad. You ready, buddy? Oh, wow. Heck yeah. That fish is awesome. Fish is in great shape. First fish, 29 incher. You know what? I'll be happy with one or two. I really just wanted to catch one after fishing for an hour, not having a bite. That's good. Just stick with it. Move to a new spot. Next spot paid off. Trying to jig and wrap. Trying something different. There he is, got him. Oh, on the jig and wrap. He hammered it too. Finally. 
Yes. Finally. Switched it up. I, I couldn't get him to eat. I could not get him to eat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hog. 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 Could not get him to eat the jigging spoon. Got to have a tikka minnow. Got to have a jigging wrap. Got to have a shiver minnow. You just never know, guys. I tried the spinner. I mean, it is the toughest conditions. I really feel like if you're going to walleye fish anywhere in crystal clear water, when it's flat, calm like this, not a breeze, even really can be really tough to salmon fish. My toughest day salmon fishing in general are like this when it's flat, calm. But making the long cast, getting out away from people, finding structure, unpressured big fish like this, jackpot. I may not catch many today, but if they're big like this, I'm going to be so happy. And I felt this one thump it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the challenge of trying to catch them. It's the challenge. You know, most anyone can catch them when it's when it's windy and choppy and and they're stacked up and chewing. It's when they're not chewing on days like today that really kind of separate the boys from the men. That's why I'm out here putting my time in. Goodness gracious. What the heck? What the heck? How big are these fish? What? <laughs> Look at this. I feel like I got a lake trout on. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. He's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my God, look at that walleye. Oh my God, that's a giant. That is a giant, guys. I think we got a giant 30-30. Oh boy, pull up the drawers for a 30-30. Look at him, look at them. Oh my God, I can't see the bait. He's got it choked. Look at that giant. No, it's got it right in the beak. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Net him, net him, net him, net him. Oh my God, look at this giant walleye. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. This is why I do it, guys. Come out here to catch giant, giant fish like this. So what I did is I put some of that custom UV tape on that jig and wrap. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, though. See that? Custom UV on the jig and wrap. Oh, he crunched it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this fish real quick, and then we're going to get her back. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that tank. That is a tank Green Bay walleye. There he is. Come on, stay on, yes, yes, yes. Big walleye, stay on. Yes, finally. Woo, do we gotta grind them out out here for these big ones. Woo, son, let's go. Well, I came out of here, man. I'll say it over and over again, I'll take, I'll take, a giant walleye over a bunch of little ones at this point. I'm just trying to catch big ones, guys. Here he comes. I see him down there. Stay on, stay on. Look at all that big shine. That's so cool. You see those big head shakes? Here he comes, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh, it's a tank. It's another tank. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, look at how fat this fish is. What the heck is going on? Look at that blimp, it looks like a giant pre-spawner. Oh my God, pounding the jig and wrap with the custom UV tape. So awesome, look at that, heck yeah. All right guys, check this out. Look at the girth of that walleye right there. Look at that, look at how fat it is. Looks like a pre-spawner. Is that incredible or what? You don't see a lot of walleyes built like that. 
I'm gonna get a quick picture and get this big fat mama back. All right, see that walleye there, guys? I lifted him up real quick. Got a quick pick. I'm not even gonna lift him up. We're just gonna flip him upside down. He should just take off. The less handling, the better. And look at that, there he goes. Right down to the bottom. Clam makes an awesome catch and release net. And guys, if you have not checked out any of the Blackfish gear yet, they make some awesome summer shirts at Blackfish. I use a lot of the soft, the soft shell hoodies. Super warm, my favorite, even using for ice fishing. Then they make really great rain gear. Don't need it today, but I always got my Blackfish gear with me. All right, let's get back to fishing now. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to it. That last fish was on a jig and wrap. We got a little bit of a breeze picking up here now in the afternoon, which is a good thing. Um, and I've got a Walleye's Nations Creations, like a spinner here. And I haven't caught a bunch of fish, but I'm gonna keep trying it. See if I can catch my first nice walleye in one of these. I know my buddy Isaac rails on them and Max rail on them with them. So I know they work. The only way to get confidence in a bait is to fish it. There's a monster school in front of me. All right, if I don't get bit now on this thing, I'm putting it down. There are so many walleyes right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, she's coming off. We're gonna go back to jig and wrap. Going with a shiverman. Oh my God, look at that. The line just broke. Okay, we won't be doing using that. So. Okay, how'd that work out for you? Oh my God, I see a giant school, a giant school, a giant school. Come on, I want to catch him on a shiver right now, come on. All right, I'm going right in him, guys, right in him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes, hog, hog, hog. Another hog on the shiver. Shiver minnow, guys. I've been mixing it up. Jig and wrap. Shiver minnow, jig and spoon, whatever it takes. Oh, they want the shiver. Let's do the, the one I shiver, baby. It makes me quiver. I get a little goofy when I'm out 15 miles in the lake all by myself, catching big walleyes with nobody else around. Oh, Lord. Let me get the net. Oh boy, oh boy, big head shakes, big head shakes. We got on to something special here. Pull up my drawers. Someone give me a donation so I can get me a belt. Woo, so -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, here he comes, there he is, there he is. Big fish, real nice fish. Coming up, yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, here he comes. Look at that fish, look at it. Oh, it's another tank, guys, it's another tank. It's a big one, look at it. Oh yeah, come here, come here, come here. Come here, those are all like eight pounders. Oh, come here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, unbelievable, wow crazy love it this is why we are out here in green bay trying different things i'm learning as i go shiver middle that time all right guys so check it out i'm going to show you this fish real quick in one second but that's a bait shiver minnow and i don't know if you can see but i add some uv tape gives it some really nice flash right there we sell the UV tape on our website. We'll leave the link in the bio, but you can put that on jigging spoons, jigs, jerk baits, trolling spoons, UV tape. I've been using it like crazy. That's why we got a UV tape company now. Ah, I can't talk. Let me show you this walleye. The wind's picking up. I want to get back to fishing because usually when the wind picks up, breaks up the water a little bit more, fish start biting. 
Smallest one of the day. I think that's a 27 incher. Should we bump them real quick? 27 inches. All right, we're gonna get them back. Beautiful fish. All right. Whenever you're ready to do your thing, little buddy, you ready? See you later. There he goes. See ya. Oh my God. Got him, got him, got him. Got him, got him. Yes, 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 yes. I just turned the back camera on, guys. Oh my God, am I in a monster school of walleyes right now? This is insane. Here he comes. This one's just coming right in. Here he comes, here he comes, it's coming in, here he comes. I think he's gonna wake up here and oh my god it's a giant too it's a giant what the hell he's not even there he goes there he goes there he goes oh it's a giant it's a big one guys it's real big all right i'm gonna go to the back guys i'm going to the back we got it on spot lock ah, ah, ah. all the way around all the way around we're on spot lock. We're on spot lock. All right. I got chaos going on. Grab the net. Pull up my drawers. Help! 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 Ah! My GoPro just died. Ah, Tony! Help! Ah! I need help. Look at this thing go. Holy crap, we got rods everywhere. Holy crap, these walleyes fight in the summer, these big ones. Wow. Just seems like right now the wind's starting to pick up, you know, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm not getting tons of bites or fish, but the ones I'm getting are really big. I'm seeing a lot. So I'm thinking now that the wind's picking up, we got the afternoon rolling in. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, what the heck? How big is this thing? Please stay on, please stay on. my god another giant ah are you kidding me the wind's picking up the waves are picking up and the fishing is picking up wait until you see this one probably another 29 incher yes another 20 and a half inch or almost 29 inches wow so many big fish like this guys 28 29s today that's incredible well not so many but this has been pretty incredible. The average size fish I'm catching is just like this. They're all 27, 28, 29, 30. You can't complain about giant walleyes when you're casting for them. I'm just gonna hold them in the water for a second. He's got a couple of growths on the side. When he's ready, we'll let him go. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Really looks like there's walleyes all over along this top. I don't even need live scope. Let it go to the bottom, hit, give it a little snap. Bottom hit. There he is, got him. Oh yes, yes, just fan casting. No live scope, guys. Yes. I did not see that. I just know there's a hump here. I went around it and saw a bunch of fish, so I'm just casting. Big in! 
Bangin! A lot of you guys ask, how do you find fish without live scope? I used to have side imaging. Same thing, I found them with side imaging. Live scope's just more accurate. But if you don't have live scope, you don't have side imaging, the best thing you can do is download Navi Navionics, I can't talk, Navionics on your phone and fish all your humps, your structure, your island, just like I'm doing right now with jigging spoons, shiver minnows. That's how you can catch them without live scope. Please, I'm gonna go net this fish. He wants to go to the back. I'm gonna go net, net him in the back of the boat, guys. Of course, I got all sorts of crap in the back of the boat here now. Let me move a couple rods out the way. Really big fish. Look at this, guys, look at this. Taking drag. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is why we come to Door County, right here. Right here. Big, big, big Green Bay walleyes. How big is this one? It's getting a little windy, guys. Oh, another hog, another hog. Oh my God, look at this. Holy crap, is that a hog? That's another hog, guys. That looks like it's pushing 30. Look at this hog. Look at him. Oh my God. Look at that tank. Oh, that's definitely a 30 incher, guys. That's well over 10 pounds. Well over, he's got that bait so choked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can't even see the bait. Oh yeah, get in that clam net. Oh baby, a dirty 30, another one. Holy crap. Man, that, that fish is well over 10 pounds, guys. Well over 10 pounds. I'm gonna show you this fish in a second. Another hog. Oh my God. Can you say choking it? Holy crap. Just got the hook out. Look at that tank. Look at that tank, guys. Well over 10 pounds. Bump board them. Oh yeah, 31 inches. Look at this. There's the tail, 31. There's the mouth. 31 incher. Oh yeah. Just gonna hold her here for a second until she's ready to go. Sometimes it takes 30 seconds or so and then they'll just take off. Just gotta hold them until they're ready. You ready? She's ready, here she goes, look, there she goes. There she goes, right down to the bottom. See you later. All right guys, real quickly, the wind's picking up here. I just wanna go over what I just caught, that 31 inch, you're on the dirty 30. On a big shiver minnow, that's the largest size they make. Uh, I don't know the color, I added some of our UV tape. And again, I have not, I don't have a ton of experience fishing shiver minnows. I'm not going to act like I'm a pro. I know all this stuff about shiver minnows and jigging wraps. Not really. I'm putting my time in. I'm kind of figuring out the cadence that they want along with the jigging spoon. So every day on the water, you got to be learning something. Oh. oh my god. Got him. Got him right here. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I saw all those fish up front. Missed one on this cast. This one came back and grabbed it. Yes! Woo! -sa, let's go! All right, guys, we got some wind. I'm going to take him to the back of the boat again where my net is. If I can get him back here. It's been fun learning these shiver minnows. 
been fun. Oh, it's a hog. It's another hog. It's another big one. Look at this, guys. Another big one. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, another hog. Another giant. Oh my God. That might be another 30 inch. This is insane. Look at that, guys. I don't think he's 30. I'll say, I'll give him 28 and a half. We'll see real quick. Oh my God. Look at this. 29, 29 inches. That right there, guys, that's a 29 incher. Heck yes. Not even getting a picture, just gonna get him back right away. Are you ready? I bet you, oh yeah, you're ready. See you later, bye-bye. Whoo, I gotta get back out there. The wind's picking up, the bite's picking up. Oh yeah, my dance moves, they are, they're not picking up, you know? I need a belt and I do need a few dance lessons. So if anyone makes any custom belts and uh, well, we'll stay away from the dance lessons. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video where we put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on some big walleyes. The wind's kind of picking up. I got a long drive back home, about a four hour drive. Come up here to Little Bay to Knock, Big, big Bay to Knock, Sturgeon Bay, Door County, the whole northern part here of Green Bay. These are the areas I've been concentrating on the last two years and learning as I go. All this stuff, I'm learning as I go. Check out our hot spoons, the links in the bio. It's been great for walleyes. And again, the shiver minnow in this week's video was fantastic. I use a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader now. I bumped it up because I cast it a few off. And I'm using 12 pound braid just with one of our prototype hot rods. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. I loved it, I enjoyed it. Two over 30 guys jigging and some megas. What a day, I mean, one of the best days I've ever had jigging for giant wallies. Do me a favor, hit that like, leave a comment. I got to get rolling. We'll see you next week, guys.